In this video, I will be painting up my Kit Bash prospectors that I made in the Hearthkin Warriors. If you haven't watched that yet, I have a link on the upper right hand corner. The first step is to prime everything black. Be sure to cover all the models from all directions. After that, switch to white primer and Zenithal highlight the models all the way around at a 30 to 45 degree angle. Leave shadow at the bottom and highlights on top. My Kit Bash prospectors will have the same color scheme as the rest of my army, which is yellow on green. I always start with the lightest speed paints first, which in this case is Crusader Skin, and I apply it onto all the faces of the models. My army's primary color is yellow, and I use Zealot Yellow Speed Paint for this. I apply this color onto the helmets, as well as the breastplates, and also on the arms if they have any calm links, I apply yellow to those as well. Next, I switch to my army's secondary color, which is a dark green. For this, I use Camel Cloak Speed Paint, and I apply this to all the upper sleeves of the models. I also apply it to their pants and any other fabric portions. For their gloves, elbow pads, and knee pads, I use Grey Floor Grey. In my original video from my Hearthkin Warriors, which I will feature on the upper right hand corner, I had actually used dark stone acrylic paint in these areas. I wanted the same look, but since I'm using mainly Army Painter Speed Paints, Grey Floor Grey is a pretty good substitute for it. It makes it look almost like black, and it doesn't overwhelm the model by making it look too dark. Next, I use hardened leather speed paint, and this goes on all the straps, as well as the various pouches and bags that are on the sides of the models. Additionally, if you equipped any of your models with a Medipack, this hardened leather speed paint looks really good on that as well. I next switch to grim black speed paint, and this goes on all the weapons and a few of the belt accessories that you would find on the various models. For my Thane that has a plasma axe, I paint black on the shaft of the axe and on the head of the axe. I use Fire Giant Orange on the tassel that's on the totem of the Thane, and then I also use this color as part of the plasma axe. I first apply some Zealot Yellow, and then on top of the Zealot Yellow, I put the Fire Giant Orange, trying to blend it in while it's still wet and then I switch to blood red speed paint which I apply on the very edge and let it bleed into the rest of the colors a little bit. Again I try to keep the colors fairly wet so that they blend together better. I switch to pure red acrylic paint and I paint just the edge with it. This gives it some vibrancy and brightness at the very end. Now on to facial hair. There's a little bit of it that shows underneath all those big helmets. I use leftover hardened leather and grim black on all the moustaches and sideburns that I find. Switching to regular acrylics, I use greedy gold and I put this on the belt buckles. And also I put this on other areas such as the totem on top of the tine's head. The next metallic is gunmetal and this works really well on all the weapon areas such as the magazine the barrels of the gun, and also the little underslung handles underneath each hand. I also applied this silver color onto all the hanging tools, grenades, and similar items that hang on the side of each model. There are areas of this drill bit which I use as the pan spectral scanner that also get this silver color. The antennas of the comms array, if you have it, also get silver. And then I apply silver to other areas such as the front of the missile launcher, any buckles that I find on the straps, slings, and the various pouches or backpacks, and the circuits on top of the plasma axe. I use Void Shield Blue which is a nice bright blue on all the visors, the searchlights, and anything that has a glass surface on it. As an example, this scanner here has a blue screen. And I also put it on any of the plasma weapons, like here. Any of the dials and gauges at the back of the miner's backpacks. On the wires on some of these right arms. On any screens on their wrists. Even in some of these embedded visors on the full faced helmets. I use Lava Orange Acrylic Paint as an accent color in some areas, such as these wires here. 
and on the tiny buttons on the arms where I see them. I next use matte white and a fine detailing brush and I apply some white stripes on top of each of the helmets. This creates an area of interest and when you look at the model, there's a little bit that breaks up the solid colors on all the yellow armor pieces. To give the blue surfaces a blue tint, I use Blue Tone by Army Painter and I put it on any of the areas that I had painted Void Shield Blue. I also use this blue tone on the energy weapons such as the plasma pistol as well as the beamer. For everything else that's not blue or not speed painted, I use strong tone and this mainly goes on all the silver areas, the gold areas, and anywhere that I did not speed paint. After this, I do simple touch-ups. For instance, here on the helmets, the white stripes were a little bit diluted, so I applied a little bit more white paint just to give it more definition. For models with exposed eyes, like this Tane here, I use a detailing brush and apply matte white into the eye sockets. After this, I paint on black pupils by using the sharp tip of a toothpick. I dab it in some black paint and then I apply it onto the eyes such as this. For basing, I keep it pretty simple. I put Elmer's glue on the base, I spread it around with an old brush, and then I dunk it into the basing material of my choice. I then use black primer and I clean up the bases for any overspray. Once your models are done, varnish them to protect them with gloss, followed by matte varnish. Here are my Kit Bash Hearthkin Warriors, all painted up. I had a great time building and painting these guys. They are really characterful and they fit right in with the rest of the leagues of Votan army. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and I hope to see you in a future one. Happy hobbying.